BSc sixth semester, Physics DSc thirteen paper first. Course title: Elements of Condensed Matter in Nuclear Physics. Part A. Two mark questions. Question number one: Define primitive unit cell. Two. Distinguish between primitive and non-primitive unit cell. Three. Give two examples for rhombohedral crystal system. Such examples are asked for any crystal systems. Four. What are Miller indices? Question number five. What is the function of Coolidge tube? Question number six. State Mosley's law. Seven. What is the significance of Wiedemann-Franz law? Give its expression. Eight. What is Debye's temperature? Give its expression. Nine. Give the expressions of Hall coefficient and mobility. Question number ten. Mention any two applications of Hall effect. Question number eleven. Define magnetic susceptibility. Twelve. Define magnetization. Thirteen. State Curie's law. Fourteen. What is Meissner effect? Question number fifteen. What is isotope effect in superconductivity? Question number sixteen. What is radioactivity? Seventeen. What is meant by magic numbers? Eighteen. What do you mean by alpha disintegration energy? Nineteen. What is the range of alpha particles? Question number twenty. Draw the decay schemes of CS one hundred and thirty-seven, or Na twenty-two, or MN fifty-four, or CO fifty-seven. Question number twenty-one. Mention any two types of nuclear detectors. Twenty-two. What is cyclotron? Twenty-three. What is synchrotron? Twenty-four. What is an accelerator? Last question number twenty-five. Write any two applications of accelerators. Part B. Five marks questions. Question number one. What is coordination number? Discuss this concept in case of SC, BCC, and FCC. Two. What are Miller indices? Explain with examples of any two crystal systems, or explain the concept of obtaining Miller indices in any two typical crystals or Bravais lattices. Three. Work out or explain the Fermi-Dirac distribution at t equals zero and a less than eight. Four. Work out or explain the Fermi-Dirac distribution t does not equal zero and a greater than e f. Question number five. What are the failures of classical theory of sp heat of solids? Question number six. State and explain the density of states for free electrons. Seven. Give the qualitative discussion of lattice vibration and concept of phonons, or explain the concept of lattice vibration and concept of phonons. Eight. Derive the expression for electrical conductivity in case of intrinsic semiconductor. Question number nine. Derive the expression for electrical conductivity in case of extrinsic semiconductor. Question number ten. Classify dear para and ferromagnetic materials with at least four characteristics. Eleven. Distinguish between dear and para magnetic materials. Twelve. Distinguish between para and ferromagnetic materials. Question number thirteen. Explain the concept of ferromagnetic domains or give the qualitative discussion of ferromagnetic domains. Question number fourteen: What is Meissner effect? Explain. Fifteen. Explain the BCS theory of superconductors. Sixteen. Distinguish between type one and type two superconductors. Seventeen. Give the theory of type one and type two superconductors. Question number eighteen. List out the properties of nuclear forces. Question number nineteen. Explain the meson theory of nuclear forces. Twenty. Explain shell model or give the qualitative discussion of shell model. Twenty-one. Explain magic numbers. Twenty-two. Discuss the types of nuclear reactions with examples. Question number twenty-three. Explain briefly on compound nucleus formation in nuclear reactions. Question number twenty-four. Gamow's theory of alpha decay. Twenty-five. 
Discuss about the range of alpha particles. 26. Discuss alpha particle spectra with examples. 27. Mention the types of beta decay with examples. Explain any two. Question number 28. Explain the neutrino theory of beta decay. Question number 29. Discuss qualitatively the decay scheme of Ti204. 30. Explain the semiconductor detectors. Last question number 31. List the applications of accelerators. Part C. 10 marks questions. Question number 1. Explain the 7 crystal systems and 14 brevas lattices with relevant diagrams. 2. What is interplanar spacing? Derive an expression for it. 3. Write the properties of X-rays. Explain its method of production. 4. What are the properties X-rays? Discuss continuous and characteristic X-ray spectra. Question number 5. What is X-ray diffraction? Explain the theory of Bragg's law. Question number 6. Explain the construction and working of Bragg's X-ray spectrometer. 7. Explain the classical free electron model or drude lorentz model. 8. Explain the theory to derive the expressions for electrical and thermal conductivity. Hence obtain the expression for wiedemann franz law. 9. Discuss the Fermi Dirac distribution at 1, t equals 0 and a less than EF, and 2, at t does not equal 0 and a greater than EF. Hence plot of a, v's a plot at t equals 0 and t does not equal 0. Question number 10. Discuss about the lattice vibration and concept of phonons. Question number 11. Explain Einstein's theory of specific heat of solids. Mention its limitations. 12. Explain Debye's theory of specific heat of solids. Show how it leads to Dulong and Petit's law. 13. What is Hall effect? Obtain an expression for Hall coefficient and mobility. 14. Give Langevin's theory of diamagnetism. Question number 15. Give Langevin's theory of paramagnetism. Mention its drawbacks. Question number 16. Explain the BCS theory of superconductivity. 17. What is Meissner effect? Explain. Discuss type 1 and type 2 superconductors. 18. Explain liquid drop model. 19. Compare the liquid drop model and shell model. Discuss the nuclear fission on the basis of liquid drop model. Question number 20. Explain any two nuclear reactions with examples. Discuss the energy balance and the Q value in nuclear reactions. Question number 21. Derive the expression for alpha disintegration energy. 22. 1. State and explain geiger nuttall law. 2. Explain alpha particle spectra with examples. 23. Explain the concept of energy loss due to ionization. Discuss any two decay schemes. 24. Explain Serenkov radiation and discuss any one decay scheme. Question number 25. Explain Serenkov radiation with examples. 26. Explain the construction and working of ionization chamber. 27. Explain the construction and working of G. M. Counter. 28. Explain the construction and working of scintillation counter. 29. Explain a typical type of semiconductor detectors using C. Li or using G. Li. For charged particle and photon detection. Last question number 30. Explain the construction and working of cyclotron. See you again with another paper. Paper 2. Thank you.